what is up guys welcome back to the Ange predicts youtube channel i'm Ange, and i predict stuff if you're new to the channel please don't forget to like comment and subscribe with the bell on if you're looking to access my premium parlays for each sport i cover as well as premium picks and betting strategies become a member of my channel today by clicking the join button at the bottom of the video what is up guys welcome back to Ange's daily picks guys for today February the 7th, Wednesday, 2024. In this video, I'll be going through each pick of the day, guys, and I'll be explaining why I take them. Please note that these picks are subject to change based on injuries, news, lineup changes, and more. So please check out the actual video tomorrow. All right, guys, in the NHL, we have the Lightning going up against the Rangers. The Rangers won their last uh, two games, I believe. And also the Lightning, uh, like I said, playing well as well uh, ever since the uh, All-Star, well, actually before the All-Star break. The Rangers are usually a good team at home, guys. But honestly, these Lightning are still a good team. Even though you got uh, some players aging, I do like the Bolts against the spread on this one. Stars versus the Leafs, guys. Uh, I believe the last time they played each other, the Stars actually won by quite a bit. But the thing is here, the Leafs need to start winning, guys. It's actually uh, really, uh, it's it's we're getting close enough to the playoffs, guys. Like I said, the Leafs need wins here. Do I think they win? Honestly, I, I don't know, guys. But I do think there's going to be a lot of goals here. Give me the over 5.5. And the final game is the Wild versus the Hawks. The Hawks, guys, have no reason to win. I know they're at home, but still, they're, losing a lot. they're missing a lot of players like Connor Bernard and company. Uh, I like the Wild to take this one in regulation, guys. NBA, we have the Cavs versus the Wizards. The Cavs, an explosive team. Even if they do have injured players, uh, they're just a rising team right now. And the Wizards, like I said, uh, they just, they're not so good defensively. They might be able to keep up at home, guys. Uh, but honestly, I like the Cavs to cover. Raptors versus the Hornets, guys. Uh, the Hornets have been anything but impressive, guys. Last year at home, they at least held their guard here. Uh, the Raptors are also not a very hot team this year, but like I said, they do have a couple of tools like Scotty Barnes and company uh, that keep, could keep this game interesting. I'm going to take the Raptors on the money line. Warriors versus the 76ers. Uh, the Warriors actually surprised me. They beat the uh, the Nets uh, late in the game, I think by like 8 or 10 points, something like that. 76ers are going to be without Embiid here. Uh, I don't know if there's much motive here to win, but honestly, I do like Golden State plus the points. Hawks versus the Celtics. The Hawks played a huge game against the Celtics, scoring about 140 points. I mean, this, the Clippers last game. Sorry, guys. They're playing the Celtics tonight. Uh, the Celtics at home, guys. Uh, like I said, the Hawks not as good on the road. They are the better team. It, it's going to be an interesting one, guys, because i got to see if the Hawks are going to put up a lot of points. They usually don't on the road. I'm going to take the Celtics to cover. Spurs versus the Heat. This is a back-to-back -back for the Heat. They are at home once again, where they play their best basketball, guys. Uh, the Spurs are relatively healthy, uh, but honestly, these two teams, to me, are under teams, so I'm going to go with the under. Next up, we have the Pelicans versus the Clippers. It's interesting because usually you would think this game would go over, but looking at the last two times they played, guys, they went, uh, I think the first game, it, went, it might have went over, but the second game was under. Uh, it's going to be a good matchup here. Uh, like I said, very close. Probably the defense is going to keep it uh, pretty low. I'm going to go with the Clippers on the first half in this one, guys. Pistons versus the Kings. Look, Pistons on the road, I just don't think uh, could stand a chance against these hot Kings. Give me the Kings to cover. Soccer, one game Bundesliga. You have Mainz versus Union Berlin. And for some odd reason, Union Berlin is the underdog, guys. I'm going to take the safe bet here. Give me Union Berlin or tie. College basketball, we have Georgetown versus Seton Hall, guys. Seton Hall at home uh, plays very well. I know Georgetown is able to compete with some uh, high Division I teams. But I like Seton Hall and this one, guys, to cover. Alabama versus Auburn. This is two forces to be reckoned with. Uh, two high-scoring teams. This game's going over, bro. <laughs> LSU versus Tennessee. Tennessee has been on a bit of a slump, guys. Uh, and going up against the LSU team, that, like I said, is very good, even on the road. But, uh, like I said, I think Tennessee tonight rebounds. I'm going to take Tennessee on the money line. Wisconsin versus Michigan. This is another situation here where Michigan uh, started off pretty strong and now it's starting to slip a bit. Wisconsin's clearly the better team here. I'm going to with Wisconsin to cover. 
Villanova versus Xavier. This is one of the um, more closer matchups for sure, guys. Very similar type of uh, play for these teams. It's going to be a close one, guys. Last time it did go under. I'm going to take the under on this one. Western Kentucky versus Louisiana Tech, guys. Louisiana Tech has been uh, hot in the last five games. Uh, but like I said, Western Kentucky is not a team you want to put in the back burner here. Uh, even on the road, guys, I think they can at least stay within the point spread. I'm going to take Western Kentucky plus the points. Pittsburgh versus NC State, guys. A lot of you guys would smash NC State right away. But honestly, this Pittsburgh team is underrated, guys. Uh, I don't know if NC State's going to cover here. i got to see the spread tomorrow, but I'm going to take NC State on the money line. Louisville versus Syracuse. Uh, listen, these are two teams that I think won't be getting a lot of points here. Like I said, defensive-based. Give me the under. UTSA versus Wichita State here. Guys, I'm a big fan of Wichita State, guys. As the underdog, as the favorite, it doesn't matter. These guys come hard, whether at home, whether uh, they're away. They usually win games by one point, two points, uh, especially against the big teams, I would say. Listen, I just don't think UTSA is going to be able to get a lot of buckets against Wichita State. Give me UTSA team total under. SMU versus Rice. I'm not going to waste much time here, guys. SMU is clearly the better team. Give me SMU to cover. North Texas versus Tulsa. I can tell you one thing about North Texas. They got a really good defense. They could keep the games low. Uh, I do think Tulsa will probably steal this game, but I'm probably going to take the under. Creighton versus Providence. This game screams the over, guys. Two huge teams that got put up a lot of points on the board. Give me the over. Notre Dame versus Duke, guys. Notre Dame is not a team that's able to keep up with Duke. That's for sure, especially at home. I'm going to take the Duke to cover. Georgia versus Mississippi State. This is similar to the Georgetown game and how close it's going to be. And Georgia has been proven that, honestly, in the last few games, really elite uh, status here. It's going to be a close one, guys. Uh, Georgia, I guess, is going to be the underdog based on the stats here. But like I said, I'm going to side with the home team here. Miss, Miss State money line. Texas AM versus Missouri. The last time these two played went way under, guys. I don't think much changes here, guys. I'm going to take the under. Nebraska versus Northwestern. The last time they played, Nebraska did have the edge. I believe it was by maybe six points. Relatively close game here. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if Nebraska was at a home last time. I think Northwestern could possibly stay within the spread here. So give me Northwestern plus the points. All right, guys, those were my picks for today. I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, there's actually my Asia Cup, Africa Cup of Nations, and also my tennis picks that I'm going to be making the videos tomorrow that are not included in this video. So check that out. I'm Anjan. I'm out of here, guys. Take care and good luck.